Boo, boo, <laughs> that game sucks. Why would you play this game on your channel? Boo. Because it's our channel and no one watches anyways. Yeah, go fuck that? yourself. My name's Kevin. My name's Bobby. And this is <laughs> Cactus Court. You know, I'm, I'm so straight to the point here that I didn't even use my alias, and now you've all figured out my true name. Kevin. I would like to point out that he didn't rehearse that or tell me he was going to start off with a wave of boos. Yeah. So Wave of boos, you say? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that kind of <laughs> caught me by surprise. Yeah. So this is Mass Effect Andromeda. Um, now, we've played Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. On the um, channel, and it was, it's been a while. Um, right. It was a pretty I, I fun setup. Re- I don't remember when we finished those. We upgraded to two microphones somewhere in the middle of that, right? I think so. So that you can... Listen to it and hear our old quality stuff and listen to our new quality stuff. That's still bad, but better. <laughs> our original Mass Effect campaign was fine, though we were plagued by some technical issues. Um, Are you calling that the robot flipping the coins? Is that your technical issue? That might have been before the robot was a thing. And then we got her with ME2, because I got her for Christmas. Anyway, no, that was fine. Okay. I, didn't, I didn't really mind the robot flipping the coins. In fact, that made it very interesting. Yeah. Oh, no, you're right. We, we started the first game with that. You're right. Right. Yeah. Anyway, no, there were times when uh, there was no sound being recorded. Oh, yeah, that's right. A whole bunch of weird shit happened yes. during that. And it would be hilarious if that happened again this time just because Cosmic fuck you. Um, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna now. You jinxed it. You know you did, you dumb motherfucker. Why'd you have to say something? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Jinx and everything. See, there's there's sound here. Oh, yeah, that's great. There was sound before, too. That doesn't mean it's going to actually record. <laughs> you jinxed it to high hell. Damn. Okay. Anyway, well, if that's the case, then, you know, there will be subtitles on. Um, so, do we need to know what happened in the Mass Effect trilogy? All right, so here's the setup for Andromeda. Okay. Um... Well, you, you're gonna learn. Going you're going to learn most of it, but this game takes place... Canonically, after two, Mass Effect two. Okay. Um, during during uh, Mass Effect one and two, this this lady called Jen Garson said, "I'm going to have the Andromeda Initiative, which means I'm going to get a fuck ton of of humans, Salarians, Asari, and a scattering of the other ones." Right. Um, put them in a small town where they start bleeding out of their eyeballs. Yes. Uh, we're going to put them on a bunch of uh, these giant ships and just send them off towards the Andromeda uh, galaxy just to uh, see if we can survive there. So not Andromeda Strain Galaxy. Slightly disappointed not, by that. Not quite like that. No, we're not going to put the monkey in the cage and then have it breathe only uh, carbon dioxide and pass the fuck out on screen. Well, that would be great. But uh, yeah, that, that's, that's a lie. Don't don't torture him. The basic setup for this game, uh, we're gonna learn that anyway. But that's that's the general concept. Okay, now uh, you've already beaten the shit out of this game, and I've mentioned it a few times on the channel. Yes. So uh, when we were playing Mass Effect Three, I was just like, all right, so we're probably not gonna do Andromeda on the channel. It's kind of a different feeling game. It's it's less mission based and more. It, so say the trilogy is Star Wars and Andromeda is Star Trek. It's 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 less do this and more hey here's a bunch of different stuff for you to do on these big planets, right? Which is fine. Uh, and then after that, an odd comparison, but okay. Why? It's less of a war and more of a trek. That's exactly what it is. I suppose. Um. And yeah, so so at that time I'd only played Andromeda through once on PC when it first came out, and I said. You know this game it's all right uh, i don't i don't love it it's the worst of the four but it's it's decent i think that people were too harsh on it after i got my xbox i picked up andromeda for what like five bucks um yeah it and, was sad and then i played it on xbox which is what we're playing it on now uh we're gonna do it on new game plus so that's gonna be fun um and then i fell in love with the game and i 100 percented it and beat it three times in a month uh, in order to get all the achievements, because you have to, um, you have to do three full romances to get an achievement and something. So it takes at least three playthroughs. That last one was on uh, insanity difficulty. That was fun, but I'm not doing that this time. No. Um, so yeah, that's I, I like the game a lot more. I'm still a lot less familiar with it in general than I am with the trilogy because I've played through it a lot less times in the trilogy. So there's going to be stuff that still catches me by surprise. But sounds good. Should be. Let's let's get going before, you know, ten minutes pass of us on this. Uh, 
It's barely Tile five. Screen. Anyways, uh, we're doing this instead of the next uh, 999 game. The VLR. Next VLR game. Yeah. Whatever. Zero Escape. Yes, there yes. we go. <laughs> uh, because we have ideas for some of the voices that we want to do in the next Zero Escape game. And... I'm not ready for that yet. He's not ready. He's gonna he's gonna take his time. Uh, tight boys take their time. That's what I've understood. That's that's the mantra of the Beard Bros, and we're gonna steal it. Right. So, tight boys take their time. Tight boys take their time. Okay, I do not ever in my entire life want to be referred to as a tight boy. <laughs> not ever. Yes. That that's certainly for some people. Yeah. I'm glad it's for them. <laughs> I'm not gonna call it that. Call them that to their face. Tight boys. Yeah. They call themselves that. That's great. All right. Yeah, I'm not going to call them that. There's tons of people that call themselves things. I'm not going to call oh, them those that's, things. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> uh, yeah, when I played through this game before, it was on the Xbox One S, and then, you know, I upgraded to the Xbox One X after that, because I, I should have got the X in the first place. But it's fine. So uh, when I played it before, it was a different system. That's why it's syncing data now. Uh, I haven't played this game on the X yet. Supposedly, I think this one is Xbox One X enhanced, so we'll see if I notice any differences there. Okay, you didn't have any real problems on the S? Not really. I mean, like, it, an occasional stutter. But I, you know, it's the kind of thing that you get with any game, really. Yeah, just about any complex game, you're going to get some stutters. Yeah, people are always just like, oh, Andromeda is just such a pain in the ass. I'm not going to say you're not going to find any glitches. Yeah. You will. You absolutely will see glitches in this game. I mean, people loved Witcher 3. And Less than games. Witcher 3 by a significant <laughs> amount. Witcher 3 was almost nothing but glitches for yeah. me. Damn. Glitches ain't shit, but witchers and tricks. I'd just be walking around, and all of a sudden I'd glitch through a mountain that I wasn't near. So, <laughs> yeah, Witcher 3 had problems. <laughs> I, I especially like where, where Roach would appear when you whistled for him. Oh, yeah, and then sometimes he would just get stuck or fly. I, I whistled for him, and he's in a house that he cannot get out of. <laughs> piece of shit yeah i i got many good clips of that that you could probably find on our twitter bruh why why this 81 percent uh i don't know Is are you, are you trying to tell me that i should have prepared yeah it's almost like we're a shitty channel beforehand yeah we're certainly not doing a very good job of selling the greatness that is mass effect andromeda so what do we do What's what's the plan? Do we just kind of go silent for a minute while this works, and then we do a little time skip? Just, That's oh, my plan. Okay, now we're ready. Oh, hey, <laughs> okay, we we didn't actually time skip that. It actually just happened right as he said that. <laughs> Wonderful, love it. Top tier game. Uh, ten out of ten. Good shit. Okay, so new game plus. Yes. Tell me about that. What what are we rolling over? So I'm going to have uh, very large stats. And and uh, you almost said tits or balls, whichever one. You, if you're rolling over a male, male or female character, this game is not Saints Row. We don't have a sex appeal meter. Boo! Boo! Went to test burger. Speaking Boo. of, I, I did pre-order the Saints Row Three Mastered. <laughs> nice. Sarah. Sounds like you. Oh, okay. So I was level eighty-two. If I'm new game plus, I don't want to be Scott. Maybe I can still change it over i think i can because I, I played as scott after sarah okay hey more loading i did not want to load the game that i played last time there were titties um <laughs> when i when i played as scott i played with uh, uh he looked so happy so i romanced that. with cora oh yeah and so we look like uh, garrison um oh hi garrison yeah but we want <laughs> to be no i don't want to be white writer there we go so this is this is my Sarah writer. All of my writers are black, and it's weird now when I see white writer in the art. I don't like it. Fair enough. Because I played through the game three times in a row and fell in love with the with these versions of writer. I am also sick of seeing honkies. Yes. So yeah, their name is Sarah and Scott. They, just like in the trilogy, you can change their name. I'm not going to, because when you when you keep it as the default, characters will actually call you Sarah or Scott. Oh, and when but you uh, when you don't, they change. They it just to... change it to Pathfinder or Writer. Gotcha. Right? Okay. Um, which is fine, I guess. Oh, and you can customize your twin. Yes. So uh, Scott and Sarah are twins. Okay. Um, I can make him white as fuck, and it's just whatever. And then sure. uh, your father is just amalgamated by how you created your the twins, and you know, look to be an older man. Gotcha. He looks a little weird with these guys. 
<laughs> okay. Because he's clearly supposed to just be some old white guy, right? Mm-hmm. So it's interesting. <laughs> but we'll see. It'll be fun. Yeah, you're playing this and you run to your dad and, you know, it's just Alec Guinness shows up. Yes. That, that would be <laughs> too precise. <laughs> uh, and yeah, you can you can change one single thing in the previous, uh, in the trilogy, which is what flavor shepherd it was. And so I just have it as female shepherd. Not that I don't think it actually matters. I think there might be like one or two lines in the game where they say she or he when they're referring to shepherd, which is unusual anyway. So, sure. Because it's, it's kind of removed. Okay. But yeah, I think that we should just start with uh, what I got, because I really like my versions of Ryder. Okay, so your levels are coming over. Yeah, so I'll be starting at like level 82, I think it said. There's no level cap in this game, um, so that's fun. Are we going to break 100 during this playthrough? Probably not. Uh, Maybe. Well, I went from 69 to 82 or something, right? So probably not. You didn't just stay at 69? No. And also, I'm going to be doing a lot less for this playthrough than I would be doing on my regular thing, because it's going to be less exciting to watch. If I if I just grind out every mission, that's fair. So I might do some stuff off camera, but we'll see. Once you pass sixty nine, you just gotta grind all the way to four twenty, though. Everybody knows that. But I figure uh, just do normal mode because I'm gonna sure. be I'm gonna be distracted by talking. And as we saw in the previous series of the two episodes of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, I am not good when I'm talking and also fighting. So, what's all the big difference between, like, narrative? Is that just, there's no fighting? You narrative just... is, there is barely, I mean, there, there all the fights exist, but it's like, pew, 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 dead, basically. Oh, okay. They had that, I believe, in ME3 as well. Um, if you just want to encounter the story, and I wish that more games would do stuff like that, like um, JRPGs and stuff, I would love to play through. It's mostly that I just hate the combat. If they would just have these narrative style things, I would love that a lot more. Uh, just wait a few years and then they come up with a... So basically, this is whatever JRPG title is. A little animation gets on YouTube. See, that's fine, but I, I would rather all. experience the game as it is, which is why I watched all the Xenoblade um, cutscenes on YouTube. And I'm looking forward to watching them in HD now. So, yes. Unless Bobby's going to buy the game. It looks so much better. Are you going to get the game? It comes out at the end of the month. I'll probably have to get the game. Nice. If I don't get it, Garrison will get mad at me. Will he? Probably. All right. Right now he's grinding on Final Fantasy XII, though. Try and do the uh, broken as soon as possible thing. Interesting. Yeah, that's a long grind. I, I don't know why he's doing it. It has fast forward in the current versions. Even still, it's a long fucking grind. Anyway, 13 minutes in, we're finally starting the game. Hooray! <laughs> EA presents... A Bioware production. Fucking love Bioware. Do you? Every I do. great moment in our history began with a dream. Tell it to me, Mr. Krabs. Each bold leap forward was achieved by those willing to do anything to attain it. Oh, Pellet's song was kind of an accident, but okay. We sure. are all of us leaving behind families, homes. The very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery, to see the unknown. Others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream. It is a very, very pretty game. Yeah. I, uh, the trilogy is rumored to be remastered at the moment. In the year 2185, humanity lives in a golden era of interstellar travel. Our discovery of ancient alien ruins on Mars propelled our understanding of science and technology ahead by thousands of years. While many now enjoy the newfound freedom and challenges of exploration of the Milky Way, others look to even more distant stars. By the hundred thousand adventures embarking on this one-way voyage, the future begins in... Andromeda. But yeah, if they can make the trilogy look like this game... Oh, give that to me. Especially the first game and the second game. Oh yeah? Third game still looks good. 
634 years later, and we were all in cryosleep aside from certain Krogan and Asari on the ships. Because they can live for, like, ever. ever. Right. <laughs> so they're, they're like the technicians or whatever. Gotcha. I, I assume there was copious amounts of banging going on. Oh, I, well, perhaps no, you know, eternities embraced, but perhaps. <laughs> Probably not, but <laughs> hopefully. Yes, so the human arc is called Hyperion, which is fine. Oh, you got like a different arc for Yeah, each the one? Asari and the Salarians, and the Turians, I'm sorry, I, I, there were four arcs. Okay. Um, yeah, so there are four arcs, and then there are the, the various other species interspersed. There's actually also a fifth arc, but we never got to see it because the DLC was cancelled because the uh, fucking gaming public destroyed this game. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yep. The fifth arc would have had your Quarians and Drell on it, so we don't have any of those in this game. Oh, that sucks. I agree. It's very sad. And Hannah. Well, that's fine. No one cares about them. What the fuck are you talking about? Are you saying that Blasto isn't the best character in the series? I am saying Blasto isn't the best character in the series. <gasps> Taking it easy for 600 years. Ryder, Sarah, recon specialist, Pathfinder mission team. Pathfinder team, eh? The ones finding us a home. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean, summer year round? How about we get her a cup of coffee first? I mean, we can find a planet and then you can move to the tropical spot. I gotta pee. <laughs> Everybody knows that once you come out of cryo, you just gotta piss. Yeah. The I agree. Saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. Purple eyes. I can dig it. Sarah Ryder, let's get you checked out. Look here. What's up, girl from Game After of Thrones? Whose name I always forget. For oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. The girl I like? I think so. Now Natalie Dormer? Yeah, that one. <laughs> She's Lexi. Nice. Uh, talk, talk some more. Makes I need. It sounds so easy, doesn't it? I like it. Seduce her. No, I cannot. Not. God I damn it! For a little adventure before <laughs> we settle down. Well, buckle up. Sounds like you'll get your wish. Yeah. Over here now. The Pathfinder wants you all on your feet right away. He said mission ready within the hour. Any idea why? No, but I'm guessing that's where your adventure comes in. Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's test your salmon plant. Some of the other Sam, characters look better than Ryder, in my opinion. Sam, well, Ryder's a custom character. Yeah. Yes, Dr. Tepera. Good morning, Sarah. Are you feeling well? I just need a second to get my bearings. Oh, what's this about my implant? A routine check. After being in stasis, we want to make sure the connection's still live. As the team's mission computer, your well-being is my primary concern. Assuming the implants work as advertised, Sam sees what you see, in theory. We won't know for sure until we get you in the field. How are you feeling, otherwise? Toad's excited. I'm ready to get to it. Readings confirmed. I detect an increased level of adrenaline in your system. The neural implant is functioning properly. Can't explore space without my coffee. You're all done. Let's get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your brother. It always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. Did you hit the A button or something there? No. Or is that just, just an odd skip? Yeah, she's just supposed to get cut off in the cutscene. Yeah. Somewhat odd transition there. I like uh, Space Tree. Oh, yeah? Big Drazel just popping up to fuck up your day? What's happening? Fucking Costa Try just flying around. <laughs> yeah, that's how you do in space. Everybody knows that. Yeah, I agree. I'm all all on. Yes, yes. You just gotta kick your shoes off and you'll be fine. This is Cora. I'm at the cryo bay. Brace for a reset. <sighs> Everyone okay? I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's good to see you're up. Feels like centuries since we spoke. This is the 
Mission teams continue pressure. <laughs> I haven't seen you in 600 years. <laughs> Get it? That because they haven't. Uh, we that have classic joke. It's Scott Ryder. He's dead. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> Can't be having all that baggage when you gotta it's go not. be a Pathfinder. Just you know, I don't know. Should have to. Sarah. Sarah Connor. Okay. Scott's fine. His vitals are strong, but the revival procedure was interrupted. I don't like the sound of that. Don't worry. It just means the process could take a bit longer than usual. Sam. My connection to Scott's implant was suspended. However, his pulse, respiration, and brain activity are all normal. Oh, that's nice. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep him in a low-level coma for a while. Then let his body regain consciousness naturally. That's too He'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. You keep us updated. That looks like... Ryder, it's I'll not a Karen haircut, but like a daughter of Karen haircut. Yeah, you know what? It took me a while to warm up to, uh, to Cora. Yeah. I thought she was a little weird. Hey there. Hell of a wake-up call, huh? Didn't expect that first thing out of stasis. Makes two of us. Hang in there. So, okay. Everything's fucked up, but you're fine. Yeah, it's basically, hey, what if uh, everything went wrong? Is basically what this game is. Oh, good to see, you know, all the other gravity spots didn't affect, like, those cases over there on the left. They're all fine. Yeah. Hey, up here! Whatever hit the arc fried everything. We have to balance the power loader, it explodes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Got, got to balance the load. She has a scanner. I Quick have a scanner. Rider, use it to locate the fault. All right. On it. I'll try to get rid. Relay to C. Just damage from a temperature spike. Found it. Bad relay. There's a lot of scanning and stuff in this game because we're on completely alien planets that nobody knows about. Oh, okay. So it's not a. We already understand there. this. The right. Reset. There's a lot of. Hey, look at this strange ass plant. Can we eat it? I don't know. Scan it first. Yeah, Sam is is a very smart boy, but he needs me to do the scanning for him. Gotcha. And then he'll tell you all about it. And then you gotta, you know, beam it up to Scotty, and then he'll take it to engineering. They'll break it down. I've seen the show. I know what happens here. Beam me up, Mr. Scott. Yeah. The adventure begins. I don't like scrambled so much. Go ahead and take us to the bridge. Why don't you take us to the bridge? Classic Cora. Oh yeah. Can't do anything by themselves, I swear. <laughs> Fucking Karen's in she, outer space. She thinks she's an Asari, it's all weird. Does she? She's just been trained by Asari and she talks about them all the time. Oh. Come oh that's Siri. Report. Uh silly. It's Siri, yes. It's Siri. Flight controls aren't responding. Did the robot just try to respond to me First calling priority it Siri? Is stopping no. these outages. Oh. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, Captain. They won't last. What's our position? Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. Attempting to adjust sensor array. Is Alec, please. Is that who I you think it is? Pathfinder, but this Clancy is Brown, my yeah. Ship. Yeah, Mr. Captain, Krabs. The protocol's clear. In nice. the absence of communication with the Nexus or so, the uh, arcs, we proceed to our appointed golden world. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. Look, listen to the Kurgan. Just go there. <laughs> this is Captain Dunn, first name Brookson. <laughs> Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? Yeah. Your father's got totally a point, can. though. Solid ground sounding pretty good right now. Yeah, but. Pretty good isn't good enough. Yes, sir. Don't be a dick about this. <laughs> We're coming through. My god. Is that our golden world? That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. Um, looks like it got a bit of, like, road burn there. All of our long-range scans <laughs> told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. It's called the Goldilocks Zone. Calm down. It doesn't even look the same. Okay, so, um... We don't have Paragon and Renegade anymore. Boo. Now we've got these four different things. Which is actually 
kind of tight um, because you can play through the game four times and it's it's different. And I imagine it's a bit better than just a you know red blue choice at the end of Mass Effect Three. Well, red blue green, uh-huh. sir. Um, yeah, after they patched it. We don't no, know it was that way in the first place. Yet. Was it? it still yeah. seems like it's oh, okay. Shot. I seem to remember people just complaining Maybe. about it's red or blue. There's just a no, lot red, blue, and green. No. Sam. Well, it was, yeah, it wasn't green if they didn't get enough resources. Processes. Oh, well, that's Monetary probably why. Nobody got enough resources. Bitches. It's so easy to get resources. Oh, now, didn't you say we're they had to lower it a lot? Like 20,000 souls at drifted sea. And when the power runs out and stays out, we need to know if that's safe harbor. It is not. And if it's not. As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. You are not. I feel like he's right. very Just lighter skinned than Sarah and Scott. Harper, the rest of the team should be yeah. awake by now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Planet Fallen 30. Yes, sir. Maybe they're adopted. A stubborn one, Maybe their mom was especially dark skinned. Maybe they just got the darker skinned gene. I think that you see her mom and she's like white, so it's kind of weird. Oh. Stubborn runs in the family. Guess I rubbed off on him. Maybe but she's not the real mom. As long as he mom. knows what he's doing, it's not like the cavalry's coming to save the day. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here. The cavalry coming to save today. Could you just imagine like a troop full of horses? <laughs> just horses, yeah. Yeah, just riding through space. I'm into that. I mean, like you know, Thor. Yeah, I wasn't thinking full Valkyrie. I was thinking, you know, more like World War One era. Yeah, they just look like that. But all the alien species, for some reason, dressed as Earth World War One era soldier cavalry on horses, riding through space. Don't worry. I'm sure Scott will pull through. He sure yeah. as hell didn't and pull when he out. Does, he'll want to hear stories. <laughs> oh, so, uh, yeah. The uh, the Cora and Scott sex right. scene is explicit. Oh. And maybe stop with the good. <laughs> well, we should probably go for go. that then. Well, the we are not Scott. So ah, no. damn it! Cannot. Is there an explicit sex scene with Got it. her? Got you do it. So I haven't seen all of them. I've opened the armaments locker. So maybe. Are we expecting trouble, oh. Sam? Well, that's cool. Caution. Please arm yourself, Ryder. I pull out my beretta. Better safe than sorry. You never know. Uh, so I was figuring that we were going to romance Suvi in this one, because I haven't seen that one yet. Suvi. Who's yeah. Suvi? Uh, she is the science person on the ship. Oh, okay. We, we probably won't meet her this episode, but... Yeah, let, let's do that. Always choose science when you can. Date more scientists and engineers. His real answer is that les- lesbians is what he's after. I, think the arc I support the full lesbianism. Men are gross. Date women only. On hand. And if that is home down there, I'm happy to knock on the door. It's what we hope it is. It'll be one for the history books. You got a quote ready? One small step. I'm pretty sure your dad will handle that honor. Just don't fuck it up like Neil did. Yeah. All right, team. That's one of the things that I always have problems thinking about, though. Sir, it's like, we I like women. As requested. But if you're dating a girl you and you're trying to figure out about her parents and stuff like that, at some point you're just kind of going like, ooh, you like we dick? Gross. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, heard what I just never understood it personally. Just, Your brother's nah, strong. Women are great. He'll make it. Uh, something fun is that Alec is an N7. Um, oh, okay. Which I like. You better. 600-year nap and he oversleeps. You know him. Never was an early riser. Just don't let it get to you. I need you sharp. Yes, sir. I'm very pointy. Your mom would have been proud. And kind of oddly glossy looking in Both some areas. Yes, that's fine. Yeah, because custom character. Okay, team, listen up. Yeah, I like Liam and Cora look a lot better. Team, not just <laughs> because you're talented and passionate. Because you're dreamers, like me. We dream of exploring the unknown. I suppose there's not a good way around that. The edge of the map. You're not going to be able to get the custom character up to the level of the rest of the game. Yeah, almost never. Right, so you got to either look back on accept this, the difference or lower down will. the rest of the game, which fuck that. Remember, we didn't give up. That we kept dreaming that our first few faltering steps in Andromeda were the beginning 
of everything they know. We only get one chance to be first. So, let's go make history. Clancy Brown was all over the place a few years ago. Yeah, he, he got really into voice acting, and that was awesome. Like, uh, Detroit Become Human in this game. Yeah. Thor Ragnarok. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot that he was in Ragnarok. Yeah. Mostly because I tried to forget that movie. It's a good movie. No. I mean, if it was made by, like, the SNL crew, then maybe. But it wasn't. You know, that kind of, like, goofy slapstick comedy that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, and they just try to make every scene have a joke. It was what it needed. Whoa. Was it? People hated the first two Thors. Whatever. Uh, Wrongly. Stop the but, uh, a lot of people like the first one. Not as much as Iron Man 1, for good reason. Iron Man 1 was just top tier. Yeah, Thor 1 was right there. Yeah. Thor, Thor, Thor 1 was really good. I really liked it. Thor 2 was... It's alright. It's tough to get through. We're clear. have a chance to meet back in the Milky Way. Name's Liam Costa, security and response specialist. Good to meet you, Liam. Hard to believe we're finally doing this. Sure beats reading the brochures. We're getting our deceleration. Planet's dead ahead. Liam has my favorite, um, I want to say paralog because I've been playing Fire Emblem, but it's uh, loyalty mission in this game. Hang on. Oh. Okay, that's the. Uh, is it like a, a go deliver this package kind of thing? Because his name is just mail backwards. No, it's it's just really funny though. Oh, he should be a delivery person. Go go work for USPS. Sure, they need the help right now. He's he's Doesn't look like a golden world from here. That's that's pretty. Yeah, you want to live there? No. <laughs> it's upside down lightning. <laughs> I, I've lived in some pretty terrible places before. Not places with upside down lightning, though. And floating rocks. I've gotten that one down. I've done that before. It's no big deal. We've got evidence of an alien civilization. Has anyone seen us? What if they're not friendly? We stick to contact protocol. No use of deadly force unless hostile intent is clear. Nope, you're going down. If only you would have uh, strapped in while going into ammo. <laughs> you know, like you're supposed to do. Why would you not be strapped in? What the fuck is wrong with you people? Don't worry about it. I feel like I should. Because now we're just playing that bits and saints row again where you're falling from the, from the plane. <laughs> yeah, but we're not going to fall for 10,000 miles. But you might. I mean, I've seen Fast and Furious. <laughs> That's how this works. That too. Part of Sanctuary was great, though. Sure, okay, why not? Magic, future, stuff. Omni Joe. Yeah. It's well established. It's the future. You can make magic bullshit, hand wavy stuff, whatever. Yeah, I'm we just played three full games of that. Yeah, I'm just saying that there were a number of spots where it could have been just like, oh, Omni Joe can do that. Okay, well, how about we do this? And blah, 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 blah. oh, hey, look, our problem's fixed. No big deal anymore. What's that? You crack the planet in half? Just spray some Omni Gel on it. It's fine. They agree. This is Ryder. Come in. <sighs> Hyperion. Sam, anyone there? Looks like your communicator is broken. Let's spray some Omni Gel on that. Sam's <laughs> I'm surprised we aren't too. Did we really do that? Or are we dead and don't know it? Well, that's well, kind of a silly line. We found hell. <laughs> I can tell you that much. Ryder is a silly yeah. character. Oh, no okay. Way, We're gonna have to get used to that then. Yeah. I, I don't want to be doing like, well, you know, talking to the audience. Ding. And just keep on counting sins. Yeah, I gotta try and be positive here. She's snarky and has stupid jokes, and I love her. Oh, okay. 
Maybe, All right, so maybe that's why people hate this game. No, people hate this game because they played this first mission and were like, "Oh, this isn't great." Uh, it's definitely the worst mission in the game. Is the first one? Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Usually, you want to start off pretty strong. I mean, it's a cool uh, setup, right? I just don't. I uh, I remember the first time I played it, I was like, "Wow, this first mission's boring." Safety tip: Don't breathe the air. Found that out the hard way. Got it. <laughs> Safety tip: Don't breathe air. <laughs> Liam would. Yeah, just Sam any air energy, ever from any space. source. Don't breathe it. Yeah. Yeah. Hell of a cloud. The cloud that makes. The cloud oh. that makes. What the hell is this? More. Come on, we gotta get through it. Don't worry about it. I got it. Yeah, it's no big deal. Crazy. Welcome to Habitat Seven. Welcome to Earth. Oh yes, that there. that classic line. Is this for real? That's what I keep saying. What the hell's going on with this place? We sometimes forget how Man, low the bar was up. set just 20 I years ago. <laughs> Might want to see if it's working. Take a shot at that fuel cell. It's busted anyway. All, All right. right. Actually, that's good. When did Independence Day come out? Was that 97? It must have been 90 something. Yeah. Hold on. Do do do. I and D. There. We also have these little uh, ammo crates everywhere that restore our shields and ammo, which is fun. I, I like this better as a concept than just the, the leaving clips everywhere that happened in ME2. Damn, 96. But yes, random things that restore your stuff because your ship crashed and it was just made out of ammo and shields. Scattered everywhere. Yeah. I also really like the jump jets. Um, it makes it hard to go back to the old games after I got used to this because the movement is so much better in this game. Okay. I can. Shepard feels very clunky and slow in comparison to Ryder. I can see that. Sort of like when in a sequel you get double jump and then you don't want to go back to the original because, oh my god, so slow. Yes. Also, Ryder fucking books it. Like, <laughs> if I put my gun away and I was running, she'd be like sprinting. Nice. Part of the reason why it's hard to go back to uh, red and blue, no sprint shoes or anything. Oh, oh yeah. no, and gold and silver. It's our job to figure it yeah, out. just play play like the new version. Yeah, play the remix. They're better. He was yeah. right. Something went wrong here. You can at me on that we one. Fuck you. That's great. Absolutely at me. One thing at a time. All right, Costa. That's fine. Don't worry. Ryder, it's Fisher. Isla Fisher. Wait. I mean, that'd be great. Oh. She's all kinds of delightfully crazy. I agree. Have to beat it, Mary Slaughter Baron Cohen. Right. Oh shit! What was first contact protocol again? No deadly force unless fired upon. <laughs> yeah, said no one in the field ever. How do we handle it? Take it easy. We only get one shot at hello with these guys. You also only yeah. get one shot at shooting. Get shot in the head if we're wrong. Do not miss your chance to blow. No. Nice and easy. We only go hot if we have to. Nyad Shurit! Yeah, Nyad Shurit. I agree. Yeah. We can't understand you! We're not here to fight! That man's with us! Nyad Shurit! Doesn't sound friendly. Shurit! Shit! This just got real! Was it important that they had to shoot you first? Yeah, I think so. I mean, that's, that's my preference. Oh, okay. It's been a hot minute since I played this. <laughs> I have to get used to the okay. combat yeah. again. The aiming oh, wow. seems a bit smoother than we were playing okay? 1, 2, and 3. Oh, yeah, that was on PC, though. I I was okay, because your aiming on that sucked. It was great. It was really bad. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. I'm just saying. It was fun watching you miss for 30,000 hours. <sighs> The combat in this game is definitely better than the trilogy. Nothing good the way they were wrong. So better combat, better movement, better graphics. Story's just not quite as worse good. overall plot. Yeah. Next time I go and people tore it apart. Yeah, the whole neighborhood can't be bad. And glitchy as fuck when it came out. Oh. That was the true reason. Kirkland and Greer went looking for help. Come on, it's EA. They can't even get soccer without glitches. <laughs> You guys push ahead and look for the others. You sure? Yeah. Just find us a ride out of here. And take a few more of them out while you're at it. Well, my name is Ryder, so I can do that. 
to scan this boy. Well, I don't have Sam here, but I can try to make sense of it. They're DNA based, and their armor reads as some kind of bone. But the genetics are all over the map. Is that bone? Ah, I guess life took a different turn here, huh? That's eh, fine. I hope the other team's okay. I mean, we'll they they them. were smart enough to but develop guns, but the didn't get past the bone armor. <laughs> In Terra, right. it just kind of grows. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so it's not a separate armor. It's just their body has an exoskeleton. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, you got a tech combo. Yes. I don't know what. That okay. Means. All right. All right. Uh, nope. Hold on. Just trying to get used to this. Let me show you some things again. Okay. So in in the trilogy, right? Just like the Paragon and Renegade thing, this game does away with classes. You can have anything. But you can also just have a specialization. So those classes still exist. For example, the profiles, right? I still have these as different things. I, I generally go with the Sentinel because I, I do tech and biotics. And if I go with Sentinel, then I have extra percentages and stuff in that style. Okay. But I can swap at any time. Right? So if I wanted to go soldier and, and just kind of disregard using those combat arts... I can have extra weapon damage and clip size and stuff like that. So you can play the game pretty much however you want without being locked into a single class the entire game. See, now I think that's neat, but at some point you're giving the uh, the player too much freedom. By locking them into a class, you're sort of able to steer the environment to say, hey, here's going to be a challenge for this specific class in this area, and you're locked into it. So you can sort of have adjusting the, the hardness level in certain areas. I suppose. I think it's fun. Especially since you can do a quick change with them, too. See, now, I think it's the quick change bit that I would make it too wishy-washy for me. Uh, well, if I was playing it, I would straight up just choose one, stick with it. That's basically what I do. Um, um, I know a lot of people, when they start to look for breaking the game and finding, you know, broken strats and all that stuff. It's a lot of just, oh yeah, learn how to switch and you'll deal with any situation. And Sandy mode becomes way too no easy at that point. Just shot him in cold blood. He was trying to surrender. Why kill him? Would we treat them any different if they showed up on Earth, armed to the teeth? Uh, maybe not. Peace isn't going to be an option here. We should have put our bed in the middle of the street. We'll come back what? Body once we find the others. Like John give give peace a chance. I've seen yeah, how'd that work out for him? Time, but nothing quite well, like that this. wasn't why he was killed. I mean, but he was. Hello, right? love. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I should go. I think it wants to eat us. Boop, boop. No, that's fine. Okay. Look, it's just a wee little popper. You Where killed a dog. Was? He's a dick. Look, John Wick is gonna come fuck your shit up right oh, now. Oh, yes. Whatever the, uh... Ellie, Ellie and John Wick. Yeah, the bone exoskeleton version. Hey, look. Flare's going up. Over there. Could be our people. I'll mark the nap point. Yes, I will walk sideways. Let's go. What, uh... What kind of alien species are they? Did so, they these ones are called the Ket. Okay, so... The Ket version of John Wick. Gonna show up like, you killed my dog. And the rest of the game is just you running from him. Bye. Oh, farewell. What the? Did you see? I did not. Nope, didn't see shit. I don't, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, Costa. Flying thing. Did you breathe the air, Costa? Is, is that what's going on here? <laughs> Are you hallucinating? <laughs> Classic Costa, always breathing air, the piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I romance Costa on my second Xbox playthrough. Oh yeah. Um, he was alright. Like it made me like him a little more. But, like, he's still, you know, he's supposed to be the Caden, then he's supposed to be the funny Caden, and I don't think it works. Yeah, that doesn't work at all. Oh, yeah. So, you know, when you start the first mission, you've already got full inventory. Don't see that. Ha-ha, whoops. Nice. Oh. So, uh, which one calls you Seaha? Well, we could have found out. But no If we had the DLC. Yeah. They see us! Do they? Yeet. Yeah, it looks like they do. Here we go. 
I kind of want to see what Snarled Snake would do if he got dropped onto this. Oh yeah? Yeah. He, he just metal gear. Yeah. Careful! They're cloaking! <laughs> it wouldn't be a problem. D-Dog just runs up, fucks him up. D-Dog? Yeah. That's my name too. In MGS5, he gets a dog. Or you can get a dog. Yeah. You can also not get the dog. You can also not get the dog and use a stupid humming chick instead. I I got both and I love the humming chick. Not my fault you had issues with her. I did not like her. She was awesome. Maybe the best character in any Metal Gear game. Well, of the ones I've played... Uh, <laughs> of the ones you played for an hour... And gave up on. I hated it. Yes. Well, it's not typical version of those. You should play the other ones. Now this looks more like the Golden World. Dead animal in here, and some sort of trap. Pretty recent too. You suppose those aliens set it? Probably MGS four. Don't play nice with anyone. Three? Well, maybe this dog. Probably three. I have two and three on Xbox. You should play three. If it's anything like Plants Back in the Milky Way, well, there's still. You don't really have to know anything to play three because it's a prequel. Yes, yeah, I just can't kill them. Yeah. Can't kill what? Ocelot, maybe? Oh, yeah, if you try to do something that you can't it's do. It's like it's a paradox. Yeah. So you can't actually kill Ocelot, because he's got to be in the later games. Right. Though they should have just let you do that and be like, whoa, this is a different timeline. More for genetic field. Look. More for genetic gear. The Melgar games are weird enough <laughs> without adding in more more genetic, genetic gear. <laughs> I love it. Radio static. Motherfucker. Like a pattern. That, that's going to be all over the next VLR game, isn't it? Why didn't we do that? Because I was trying to keep us away from it. Oh, did you think of it? Yes. Oh. You're right, Hang fucking on. bastard. <laughs> Oh, okay. Thanks, Costa. <laughs> I appreciate that. Hello, friend. Thank God. I was tapping my mic, hoping someone would notice. Yeah, I noticed. Are you okay? Yeah. Where are the others? Are you Judy Greer? They killed Kirkland. But Fisher's alive back at the crash site. He's got a broken leg. He needs help. I'll check around for supplies. Then head back. Stay put when you get there. We'll look for my dad's shuttle. Good luck. He'll be fine. Can't wait to get off this. Can't wait to get off this bitch. Yeah. Bro. So, uh, is this just gonna be a long introductory episode? Yeah, I mean, we we already started like 13 minutes in, and our trilogy episodes were like hour long anyway. Yeah, I figured you were gonna do this. I think that's the way that it should be. Yeah, it's just like uh, no, 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 no. make it long. Don't want to stop playing Mass Effect. That's what caused the trilogy episodes to be so long. You just did not want to stop playing. He was like, but but I, I could just do the next mission. It's it's only five minutes, and we'd add on an extra forty. I did not say five. I would never say five. Well, let's hope no one's home. Look, you lied to me oh several God. times to keep playing. <laughs> <laughs> please please watch the trilogy. <laughs> if you haven't watched the trilogy, Garrison, please watch the trilogy. So I know you said that there's not uh, Paragon and Renegade and all that stuff, but are we trying to go for more of a different feel? Here, like, are we just gonna do it choice by choice? Or are we going for like kind of? The I was gonna, I was gonna do the. Um, well, we did do uh, mostly Renegade before. Um, I don't know that we're gonna leave much up to the to the robot in this game. Okay. Um, kind of doesn't really work the same way. Yeah, when it was mostly one or two choices with the robot, it worked out. But the way this one sets up, it doesn't seem to be that quite the yeah. same way. Yeah, so we'll, we'll just go our own way. If we if we need to make weird choices, there's one in particular that I know that I don't want to leave up to chance. Uh, okay. Because there is a correct and incorrect choice, oh, and I've made the incorrect just... choice, and I hate it. Oh, okay. And I left. Nothing. Fair enough. It does Warden Solus die again oh, or something? Like, what, what's up uh, with that? You're close. Oh, well, you're fuck me. Sorry for, that. Sorry for spoilers, I guess. Well, it's not really all that close, but... Huh. Oh, shit. Do you have the choice to stay the line or not stay the line? Stay the line. It's more a choice of that can't be good. saving one or the other. Ew. Gotcha. So the weird alien machine is a generator. Save the girl. Yeah, sure. Why wouldn't it be? 
Maybe it did something. Yeah, I'm not going to talk a whole lot about that because I want to avoid spoilers. But. Fair enough, but I'm just saying now. Some kind of research I'm worried about it comes down between a dude and a girl. Even some type of alien feminine creature. Go with that one. Save the feminine creature. That is unlikely. So now killer robots too? <laughs> the guests back home would love this place. Yes, they are guests. Whatever this is, it scans as being old. Centuries what are you old. doing, Costa? Yeah, he's just he's having a good time, man. Jumping around. Yeah, uh, hardcore parkour. Look like they're from an energy blast. Right? It, it's never a dull time to get in some cardio. Everybody knows that. Uh, that's rule number one. Cardio. Yes. We don't look around in here. What do you want me to scan, Costa? You fucking bitch. D's. D's what? D's nuts! What? <laughs> so original. I've never heard this just... It is a fine jape. Yeet! So <laughs> I also like that, um... Like... I can still have uh, my my little drone fella as a sentinel. Oh yeah, yeah. Or you know, as anything. Did you just freeze that drone? My drone has uh, freezing techniques. Oh well, that's kind of cool. Because I'm I'm specked the fuck out already. Yeah. So I've got like two throws there, right? Um, yeah. Let's not wait around for more. So you know, it's fun. I think all of the all of the the squad mates are also completely decked out. Oh, so you can pretty much just waltz through this game. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm glad we're doing this then. It's, you know, pretty much like narrative mode. It's more of a fun time. Yes. I mean, I beat this game on insanity with, with these loadouts, right? Yeah. That's I not to say I'm never going to die, because I probably will. I seem to recall you bitching a lot about insanity. I did do it. Uh, I was bitching, but I did do it. Yes, I, I, I recall just the bitching, though. It was a lot. I don't think it was that bad. It was a lot. Because apparently Insanity is just uh, facing off a bunch of bullet sponges. Yeah, that is true. Oh, okay. I remember exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. I will point that out to you when we get there. Okay. Because there is a certain kind of enemy that is just a pain in the ass. <laughs> because it's just got endless fucking health. Oh, well, that's great. And they're supposed to be bosses, but it's very frustrating. To the rescue. Nice to see you guys. What's up, Carlo? You, You're my favorite How vampire in Twilight. Still in one piece. I'm, I'm lying, it's Alice. Got here just in time. Which one's Alice? She's the one who can see Where's the future. The, the manic pixie green girl? Oh, well, sure, okay. The Ryder, there's weapons and ammo at the shuttle. I gotta Stop admit, I'm, I'm kind of you disturbed that you have a favorite vampire in Twilight. I've watched the riff tracks enough that I have a favorite. That's, that's not okay. Okay, I don't want the shotgun. We didn't Look, there's one shot. good character in Twilight. Bella's dad. He is the best one, but he's not a vampire. Motherfucker! He doesn't need to be. Can I just deconstruct it because I don't care about the shotgun? Cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, weapons wheel. Oh, okay, sure, why not? Uh, yeah, I've got the, the Predator X and the Avenger X, which are, you know, the tenth versions of these. Oh, uh, nice. <laughs> Can you just, you know... Like, use a Wii wheel to steer between them, and that's how you switch weapons? I would assume so. Because that would be really cool. Well, it would be connect for this one. Air, yeah, but you can set up, like, a connect Wii wheel. Was that ever a thing? A connect wheel? I would assume it probably was. Where it had, like, little special things on it that made it connect with the connect better? That would make sense. Yeah. I mean, it would basically just be, you know, the Wii and PlayStation Move then. Because the whole point of the connect was you are the controller yeah Whoop. but it was sometimes extremely finicky and also just kind of dumb except for just dance it worked for just dance i never really used connect actually no one did uh that's one of the reasons that the x-bone failed at launch was but, because you needed to, to connect with it yeah i remember they were saying that it, it you had to have the connect and it had to be online at all times yeah that was how they started they out they really fucked up the launch of this console despite the fact that i fucking love it now i thought it was like a laughing stock for a long time and it still is to a lot of people 
hoping that they are going to not fuck up the Series X launch so much. Hopefully not. I'm going to be there day one for that one, which is the first time I've ever been there day one for uh, Xbox console. And I'll probably be there for the PS5. He will. After we saw that uh, thing the other day from Jeff Keighley, he was like, oh, I need yeah. a PS5. And I'm like, yeah, you said you weren't going to get one at launch. And I said you were going to, and he was like, no, I'm not going to, and now he's going to. Yeah, it was very pretty. And I know that they were like, oh, it's going to be like live gameplay footage. And I'm like, yeah, if you put the entirety of a game's worth of content inside of those five minutes, you can make it look like that. It's not all going to look like that. That would be ridiculous. Right. But I want it. It's just these assholes kill Kirkland. I mean, yeah, anger is fine. Stay pissed. Use it. Will do. <laughs> <laughs> just remember, we need that ammo. Strangle them if I have to. Yeah, good. Go do that. Others? You know, with their bone armor. Wounded, yeah. Sitting tight. Everybody head. knows that you can strangle so bones. Same. Guys. Yeah. Just as long as you don't do, like, the rug burn thing on it. You know, no no rug burns. On, on the weedus. Yeah. Take cover! Take cover! I didn't know you were biotic. Don't worry, it's not contagious. Before they attack We didn't say it was. What the fuck's your problem, bitch? You're a lifesaver. Now just take it easy. Also, that's kind of a fluid thing to say. Affirmative, Sarah. The Pathfinder needs to speak with you. Good to see you in one piece. What's our status? Liam and I are with Cora. We have wounded crew. The good news is our shuttle's been repaired. We can get back to the Ark. Not with these storms. It's too risky to fly. Damn the risk. I'll take that chance. <laughs> not any better on the ground. We're just human lightning rods running around here. Not if we can turn the lightning off. I don't follow? I have an idea. Rendezvous at my coordinates will... That would be Rendezvous, sir. Sir? Vouse? Sir! Rendezvous? Rendezvous? Rendezvous, yes. I can keep her stable. Acting all high and mighty, can't even get Rendezvous, right? I swear. <laughs> Okay, you, this you is probably a good place to, to call this up this first episode. Okay. And it's <laughs> been great, position. let me tell you. <laughs> is it? Talking over the cutscenes and shit. Yeah, some bodies. Look, I got shit to, to say. No and when we were doing it in the main trilogy, it's like, yeah, we were stopping a lot for the cutscenes. But this is the opening stuff, and the subtitles are on. They'll be fine. Yeah. I'll fill you in anyway if we miss something. We're not going to miss anything. It's fine. Oh my god. Calm down. <laughs> what was my dad scouting for? He She's was still trying talking. to get readings on that tower. Well, the network would some near it. Exercise caution. The storm front is already gaining intensity. Yeah, it's the first book. I nice know. to have you back, Sam. How about some good news next time? Yeah, you gotta exercise caution with the first three books. Yeah. Oops. Fourth one gets good. But, we're gonna call it here. Um, right, okay, shut up, Cora. Um... So the first mission puts a lot of people off. It did for me as well. Um, when I when I first played this game, I was like, oh, this feels like a super long and dull. Yeah, it didn't seem that great. I mean, it's it's more or less basically the same as Eden Prime, but with a slightly less interesting ending. Um, oh, I suppose. It feels very similar once you think about it. I'm trying to remember Eden Prime. Yeah, the first mission of the first Mass Effect. Yeah. If we had a Nihilus and Saren situation here, it'd be more interesting, too. But, whatever. And said you get reverse lightning. Yes, which is fun. Um, is but it? yeah, so uh, this, is a, this is a good game. I think that people talk a lot of shit, and I think that some of them have only seen trailers and people playing the game before it was patched, um, as well as people who've only played the first mission. Some people have played through the entire game and still don't like it, and I don't know how to talk to those people. Um, you also get a lot of people who bandwagon who played it and they didn't really have a strong opinion one way or the other. Yeah. But then they go online to look at it, they see the hate, and they're like, yeah, this game was bad, I hated it. It's like, no, you didn't. I'm not going to say that you're never going to find um, bad things. Uh, oh, sure. There's no such thing as a perfect game. True. Trust me. There is no game on the planet that I can't hate. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. There are some that I don't because Final Fantasy IX is fantastic. I must never really use consumables. Anyway, why don't we do shout-outs while I'm going through and making so... Okay, so I'll go ahead and go first. Okay. My shout-out is going to go towards a YouTuber who I think his theme fits pretty well with this. Uh, Zach Starr. 
Zach Starr is a engineer. He was started posting when he was going through like engineering school, through uh, college and all that stuff. And then where he did like an internship, he posted some stuff about that. And now he's a working engineer, and he posts some stuff about that. And it's like what Matthew will actually end up using, and what you actually learn. Is it still important to learn it? Yes, because chances are you're going to have to be working around that math. You're just not going to have to use it, but you still have to know how it works. Things like that. And it's pretty cool. He teams up with a lot of the other YouTubers who do like the physics and math college channels and all that stuff. Has a good sense of humor. He's posted a lot of videos. He's done the whole, you know, engineer bros be like, he's done that whole thing. It's it's entertaining, but I think it fits because if you're going on a space exploration with all the sci-fi stuff, you're going to need a whole bunch of engineering. Engineers are, are the way of the future. The way of the future, the way of the future. Yeah. Everybody knows that. I agree. See, I'm going to do a shout out to him. Go right. engineers. Fair enough. Uh, I'm going to do a shout out to a voice actress named Frida Wolf. Uh, F-R-Y-D-A. Um, she's the voice of Sarah Ryder. Um, as well as all sorts of stuff. I think that she was just recently announced to be in um, fucking Apex Legends. Um, oh, okay. And she's... I, I, I've heard her in other stuff as well. And in fact, there are Andromeda books and she does the narration for a couple of them. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, I like it when they do that. And the Scott guy also did one of them, I believe. Which is fun. And he plays Thanos in um, the audiobook about Thanos. Um, oh, yeah, that's not true. You had me listen to that one. Yeah. Yeah. Though okay. he's mostly weird sounding in that because he's as Thanos, so it's kind of different. But you can hear it once you know it. Um, anyway, yeah. So shout out to Frida Wolf, who is a fox in real life as well. Um, oh, yeah? I think so. Anyway. But that is fine. Yes. I like her performance a lot as, as Sarah. I think that she does a, a great job. I like, I said before that I like Ryder more than Shepard. And now a lot of people think that that's going to be blasphemous, but Ryder is a lot more interesting of a character than Shepard. And, and has got them jokes. Yeah. And that's only with one game compared to three. Um, I think that part of that is the fluidity of not having to be forced into Paragon or Renegade. Okay. Um, Cause yeah, once you start following down one path, it gets pretty monotone with that character. Exactly. And then one time I played through trying to be uh, centrist as possible. Mm -hmm. And it was the dullest playthrough of that trilogy I've ever had. Um, <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, it was fine. It was interesting. It was different. Um, but yeah, uh, so shout outs to, to Frida Wolf. I know that she's in all sorts of other stuff too. I know I've, I've heard her elsewhere. I haven't actually listened to those Andromeda books. I probably need to do that. You should. Because I keep bitching about not having additional Andromeda content. Yeah, um, and it's right there. It's right there, and I keep forgetting to get it on Audible. You should do it in between episodes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me just pause to listen for several hours. But get them, so that way you have them. I'll put them, them in my wish list right now. There you go. Okay, but I think that's pretty much it for this. Thank you for joining us for the first episode of Andromeda. That was really long. And our, our super long intro with the odd loading screen that knew I was talking about it. It was fun. Yes. But I'm interested to see how this works out. Uh, I want to see Clancy Brown die. I'm assuming he's going to die. Why would you assume that? Because he's Clancy Brown. He dies in a lot of stuff. He didn't die in Detroit. Oh, okay. I guess not. He didn't die in Detroit, did he? Maybe he did in one of the endings. I don't remember. I don't know. I didn't play Detroit. You should play Detroit. I'm not going near Detroit. Why not? Because it's Detroit. It's a game, and it's a good game on a console that you like, and we have. Is it about Detroit? It's about a very scientifically advanced Detroit. Oh, so it's still the shithole because everywhere else is more advanced than it. Okay. No, no, no. Actually, the, the, the background of Detroit is that it was so easy and cheap to buy stuff there Mm -hmm. That they built their science thing there to keep costs low and then had ridiculous profits with very low costs. You know, my sister is super easy and cheap too, but scientists ain't buying her up. Yes, they are. No, they you are not. Fucking lie to me. They know better. Uh, <laughs> so, I don't believe it. All right. I call shenanigans. All of the Andromeda books are in my wish list now. Fantastic. Cool. All right, guys. See you next time. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye-bye.